I'm standing at Bridgeport and Napa where police closed the road late into the morning so major crimes detectives could investigate this scene. They had a large area to work with and when we first got here at one o'clock this morning, they weren't exactly sure where this all happened. Uh, we have a location that's potentially involved. Um, we have indication that some of this occurred outdoors as well. Spokane Police Lieutenant Tom Hendren said multiple neighbors called 911 last night just after midnight reporting gunshots in the area. While officers are responding in the area to uh, check the source of the gunshots, we received an additional call that there was a gunshot victim in the 1900 block of East Bridgeport. Police were able to locate the man who had been shot and EMTs rushed him to the hospital. With very little to go on, officers canvassed the area looking for evidence and a suspect, a man in his mid-30s wearing a red sweatshirt. We don't believe that this, this individual right now is an immediate threat to those within the community uh, in that immediate area. The biggest inconvenience is the fact that we have a large area taped off for a crime scene. That area may have been so spread out because it appears the victim knocked on neighboring doors looking for help. Several homes in the area were taped off as the investigation continued into the daylight. Based on what we what we determined so far, it does not appear this was a random act. Um, so as far as uh, people in the area, uh, we don't believe that this was a random act of violence. We believe that there was uh, the victim and the suspect ha had an association that led them to this situation. And now major crimes detectives will try to learn as much as they can about the victim's last 24 hours, namely who he was with and what bad blood may have come between them. Reporting in Spokane, Casey Lund, KXLY 4 News.